vlogging, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Uh, looks like we have sunny days. Bad luck, as always. I'm the new living off the land. Let's see what that's about. Summer's known for its lightning storms. If you know how to craft a lightning rod, you can harvest the electricity and create battery packs. These can be sold or used for crafting. Nice. Ah, uh, ooh, we have mail. I love getting mail in the morning. Greeting, Moon. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. Cool. I don't remember that ever being a thing, but that's awesome. Anyways, I'm going to go take care of my crops and also my little babies, and then I'll cut back in. I got everything sold and watered. My little cuties are now out and up. Out, and I'm gonna put away my watering can and axe and scythe, grab my sword. I think we're gonna head back to the mines. I'm just gonna take my geodes with me in case we find more. Also, I now have room to do stuff like that. So I'm sure my four little chickadees will be just perfectly fine without me. Oh, I did forget to check here, but yeah, it should be empty. There, uh, the mushrooms grow every other day, meaning if you uh, harvest them the day before, don't bother checking the next day, they're not gonna be there. So yeah, now it's off to the mine. We should be getting into some new mine levels, but it doesn't look like quite yet. We're still... That's creepy. That looks like a rift that should not exist. Ooh, skeletons. So I guess this is a relatively new area, because I don't believe we've had skeletons before. If I remember correctly, they throw things at you. Which isn't the best. Wow, first try. So much for that bad luck we're supposedly having. There's the ladder. Yeah, that one didn't go quite as well as that first one, but at least we uh, got something eventually. I wish they dropped something. They kind of just self-combust, and then that's all you see of the skeletons. Ooh, fancy stone. That's a jade, right? It is. Look at me knowing my, what my stones look like in their rock form. Another ladder. Let's go. Oh, and the pretty music's coming. Yeah, I like it when the music's in. Makes the whole thing just enjoyable. Out. This isn't good. I've only got 17 energy left. Like, no health. Oh, I got like 15 health and 17 energy. Do I have. I got nothing. That'll drain my energy and kill me. None of these will give me more energy. I don't know what to do, guys. Yeah, I don't think I can make it. No, I can't make it. Oh, run! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that they killed me. Yeah, I wasn't able to get five levels down in the mine. I just ran out of energy, which is disappointing to say the least. Ooh, we have a, a little thing. <laughs> I'm deciding to build a robot someday. That should be easy for you. You should be more realistic. It sounds challenging. I'm gonna say this. I've actually built robots before, or at least assisted with a team in high school, and we built some absurdly cool robots for a bunch of 16, 17 year olds, so. I think that she can do it. Really? Are you sure you're not just trying to flatter me? No! Robot, uh, if you have, like, a gift for robotics and stuff like that, then, like, you can you can build cool robots and stuff. I didn't have a gift, but with the right team, I was able to help build that stuff. So, you know, I believe anyone can do anything if they try hard enough. We return with all our spoils for more. Which isn't... The melt, well, it's quite a bit actually. So we have some geodes that need to be, oops, slimes, so not going there. I'll figure it out eventually. That does though. Uh, let's see what else goes in there. Uh, the stone will go in there, the bat wings will go in. That's something that needs to be processed. We put the, not the grapes, not even the sweet peas. What do we even put in here? Nothing of importance. Uh, I think everything goes in here. Uh, the grapes will go in here. The sweet peas of higher value, so we're not gonna put in there, but the sap can, so can the clay. Oh, we also have a jade, which I guess we'll go in here until we get five. Yep, now we can start selling all our jades, which is cool. Um, we can also sell this. Nothing else, just that. Uh, so we're exhausted, but I'm just going to make sure all my chickadees are nice and safe inside. They all are, so we'll lock them up for the night and head to bed. We made quite a bit of money off of farming, made 62 off the sweet pea. We're getting back into like a lot of money, hopefully we'll be able to build that barn soon. Since... Actually, I think our next thing is like focusing on getting our tools leveled up to the iron level, so mostly the pickaxe and axe. I tend not to upgrade any of the other tools. 
Ooh, more mail. We're getting a lot of mail this episode. Moon, how you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Linus. Yes, we must be getting like in that really pretty high friendship zone with him then. That's so cool. Anyway, you guys know the drill. I have crops and it looks like a lot of them to harvest and stuff, so I'm gonna go and do that. We've got a bunch of things to sell, which is always a good day in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna go and process these and then head back up to the mine. I almost forgot to take care of my little chickens and water my kitty cat and also check the mushrooms, so... We have quite a bit of things that we have to keep on top of, and it's only going to get worse as we progress in the game. But I thought you guys might like to see, like, all the little chickies and me giving them all the little hearts and stuff. That's how you get the uh, best stuff when you, uh, come to it. Just make sure you pet them all, and the way to do that is always have this door closed at night. And then when you open it up, and, the, and don't open it until after you've gone and fed them and pet every single one. So that way you just make sure you don't miss. Also, lots of counting. Like... On my bigger farm, where I have all the animals, I literally just sit there and count. I'm like, just one, two, three, four. Nope, that's not one, five, six. Yeah, yeah. you guys get the idea. So I'm actually going to bring these two mushrooms with me to eat, since they're pretty high in energy. And that was our problem last time, was that we ran out when we went mining. I also forgot to put my watering can back, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll meet you at Clint's. The Clint's. Anything other to talk about than work? Nope. Nope, just work. Cool. Alright, let's continue. We'll just get this over with that. Got some iron ore, pretty common. Uh, that thing, which I thought we already had, the thunder egg, so that's just a thing. And we also have like 8,000 frozen tears now. Yeah, we have all these. Well, that was disappointing. Oh well, the goal is to complete the collection, not, not interest. Although I just did get a rusty stone, so just walked right outside, got another one. Well, we could, that means we'll at least have something to donate. This guy, museum. Yes, filled up a rusty spoon. Why am I not surprised we didn't get anything out of that? Hi, Penny. Rusty spoon, a plain old spoon. Probably 10 years old, not very interesting. Why is it here? <laughs> I mean, oh well, I guess it's part of the collection. Would you like a flower, though? Glad you liked it. Alright, take two to get to level 75. Hopefully this one goes better than the last. I mean, that's already better, right? Getting some amethyst. Only one little monster here? Nice. Oh, look, ladder. First try. Let's go. Ooh, that's concerning. Can't break that, so we're just gonna head back up, and I guess if we go to that area, we go around. I like how there's like prison chains down here. Who's using this cave as a prison? Who used this cave as a fortress? What's the history behind these caves? Does anyone actually know? Because I know I don't. Um, but I'd like to. I think it'd be a cool thing to learn. All the dust little mite things are on this one. That makes me feel better. I was sad that they might not be. I, they are my favorite monsters in this game after all. Ooh, the dust spray dropped us a ladder. That was nice of him. Uh, no, you know what? We could have left you guys behind, though. You guys are the most annoying of the creatures. I mean, honestly. Yeah, and I think I've confirmed the dust sprites break rocks for you when they bounce about. So it's not this- Oh, no. I know what that means. There's- That means there's about to be a, uh, ambush of bats upon us. Prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, for your worst nightmare. No one that's about 80 bucks surrounding you. I would just go down the ladder and ignore the bats. Yeah, I like that idea better. Ignore the bats. Move <laughs> down with life. Ladder again. Looks going better. Oh, we made it down five floors. Awesome. Well, seeing as it's a bit late, my energy's not that the highest. I would say it's a good time to head back. We got plenty of stuff like frozen cheers. I don't think... Yeah, we think it'd be more geodes. But we got a bunch of other stuff, so that's always good. Okay, put all this stuff away, so I think it's a good time just to have a early day, because I want to get one more day of mining in. Woo! We're making so much money. We should be able to afford the heater soon, which is good, because uh, fall's coming and then winter, and the last thing I want is my little chickies to freeze to death. We also made it to day 20 of summer, which is doing pretty well. It just looks like it's just a normal weather report and stuff. It's been sunny a lot. Can we have good luck for once? Yes! The first time we had good luck in like eight game game days, I feel like. Someone check for that. 
I realized I didn't show it yesterday, but I had bad luck then too. Um, I'm gathering data on the correlation between soil. I'm gonna give it my best. Alkanitsi? <laughs> Crop fruit juice levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. I believe we have melons. Don't I? Great. Uh, it's going to make me do that, so that way it stops annoying me. Here, we'll put this, and let me see if we have a melon. We should have a melon. We do! I'll get him a melon. There we go. I have a fresh... It's not fresh. It's just a melon, but he can have it anyways. Alright, I'm going to take care of my crops, and then we'll head up to him on our way to the mines. Look at all you see, how many crops we get to send out into the world. I'm sure I don't accidentally sell a melon. Uh, my little kitty's always been cute. I'm really curious now if they updated the dog. I know we talk about it a lot, but I don't know. Or they just made the cat- <gasps> My chickens are all grown up and like- Oh look, some of them are already giving me like gold eggs because they love me. Look at you guys! Oh, I didn't think they'd grow up this episode. We only got them last episode. Oh, look at them being a month old. Oh, ah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to grow up, have grown up chicken. That makes me so excited. Uh, look at these eggs that we got. We got some high level eggs. And um, believe it or not, I am going to keep all the eggs because mayonnaise is worth something and that's what we want. So they are small eggs at the moment just because, uh, they're, they're not grown up yet, so they they don't love me quite enough to start producing big eggs, but at least we have them. Giant chickens. I mean, I'm kind of sad they're no longer cute and baby, but I'm really excited we're getting eggs now from uh, all our hard work and stuff, so yay! Hi, is Demetrius here? I need to talk to him about something uh, known as melons. Oh, here he is. Hi, Demetrius. I brought that melon you wanted. This is perfect. It's just my new for my research. It's gonna be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. See, so actually, like melons. Gave us 550 coins. Not bad. Oh, goodness. He's talking about stuff that disagrees me. What is our friendship level on everyone looking like out of curiosity? So, Alex is uh, one of our best with three hearts, so we gotta keep that up, definitely. Linus is also at three hearts. I'm giving him lots of gifts just because I see him a lot and he's an easy person to get gifts. Then Gus, because I remember his birthday. Uh, Demetrius is at two, George is at one, um, says Penny Lewis, a lot of one hearts. And then, still working on Jazz, I've given her two gifts, she still doesn't like me, but we'll get there. I wanted to stop saying Stranger Danger, because I don't like being called Stranger. Uh, Vincent still doesn't care, and a bunch of others don't, but you know what? I feel like we're getting there. At least we know everyone and stuff. Alright, let's get another five levels down in the scary castle dungeon thing that's down here. With which I still am waiting to hear what the history behind it's. Okay, looks like a good luck ish paying off. Oh, we got that pretty early on. Cave carrots. I believe cave carrots is actually one of the things we need for a Jimino mission, so we might drop that off on our way back. Oh, he dropped a ladder, how sweet of him! We also got a diamond, which we've never gotten before, so that's cool! And that one just has a ladder just chilling there. Well, I kind of want to make sure there's nothing like... I tried, I tried to fight a uh, skeleton with a cave carrot. That wasn't gonna work, was it? Yeah, I just want to make sure there's nothing cool in the mine. And explore it, and then head back up there to see, uh, to head back down another level. You know what, that's a bat. We're just, it's not worth it. We'll, we'll head down. Ooh, there's an army of them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Ooh, one of them dropped a ladder. You know what? I'm okay with there being an army if it means they drop ladders. We just got a bunch of coal. I feel like I'm not getting much out of this, to be honest. <laughs> like, it's just a very, uh, we're going down. I found a diamond and, like, that's about it. Uh, and you know what? It's not, like, oh gosh. Run! Run from them all! The ladder's back over here, charging down. Sap. Wow, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Oh, my health's not looking too great, and I just got the bat thing. Meaning there's about to be a lot of that. Like, a lot of them. One dropped a ladder, though, so we're not gonna do- Oh, we're in the fiery depths of whatever's- Oh, we got more defensive boots. 
fire walker boots. Let's take a look at these. Three defense and three on enemy versus one defense and two on enemy. I know which one I'm wearing. So how do they look under my jacket? They look way better than the light blue ones, which were a little iffy. Good days. Yeah, my health's pretty low. It's I would have liked to go another five lower, but like these just these kind of carrots aren't cutting it for me. But we can at least sell my old boots to the this guy over here. Hello, I just want to sell this. Thank you. Nope, don't want to sell my sword. Kind of like that one. So we've come into the bar for no other reason than I'm kind of hunting for Alex. I found this really nice sweet pea that I want to give him. And I saw a lot of people coming in here. I was wondering if he was here. The answer is no, by the way. He's not. But I can at least go around and talk to some people, I guess. Alright, the hunt for Alex continues. I wonder if he head back to his house or if he's still at the beach. I don't know anymore. I wish I did. His grandparents are home. Ah, he's in here. Can I give you a gift even though you're, like, working out? This is cool, thanks. I can. And now he can't talk. Oh well. Well, at least I managed to give him the gift. Because <laughs> I've been giving, like, gifts to children and, like, Linus and stuff. He's like, well, I should probably be giving gifts to Alex since he's the one we're uh, pursuing in this game. Exotic foraging, right? Yeah, we got that. Oh, we actually have one of those mushrooms. And hopefully we'll get the other two soon. So that'll be three, which means we'll only really need one more. So, uh, which I guess is like sap. I can easily make a tap and start getting the sap from the trees and stuff. But it's not terribly hard. So maybe that's something we'll work on next episode is planting, make, clearing out like a fenced out area for the sap trees. Because I like doing them for of each of the three types. So maybe we'll do that next episode. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. Oh, gotta make sure I clo nearly forgot to close up my little chickens. It's not like the end of the world, but they race about in the morning, and that makes it hard to pet them, and it's just a whole mess. Yes, I would like to go to sleep. Oh, my level's up in combat! Level 5, new crafting recipe, the warrior's ring. Woo! Made a bunch more money off of crops, as always. And we'll be entering into day 21 of summer in year 1. But we'll be doing that next episode because I'm going to be ending this one right here. So um, next time, I think our main goals are going to be getting that tree sap thing. So we can start working, really working on the exotic forager bundle because that's kind of the first one you can actually finish. So we're going to get on to that one. And then the second to guess we will is I want to look at the barn. I want to get like, I think cows is what we'll be getting next. So I want to focus on getting cows. So those will be our two big goals next time. I do hope, though, that you enjoyed, like, this relaxing mining episode, because I definitely enjoyed filming it. Anyways, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!